Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, the 10th of October. I'm actually a day late getting this out because I had a live stream with Dave Mack yesterday, but today is the 29 month mark. I've been carnivore for 29 months. I used to do these every month, but now I'm just gonna do, I haven't done one in quite some time. But we're gonna talk about all the things that have gotten different for me. Basically the results of 29 months of carnivore. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. What you're watching is you're watching me walk. I know that doesn't seem super exciting, but considering 29 months ago yesterday, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for a couple of minutes without severe pain. And now I'm out here walking every day. I know, the bob cam looks kind of ridiculous on my head, but it's been a while since I've done one of these split screen videos, so I thought I'd take that opportunity today so that you can see my face and see where I'm going. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. It means a lot to me that you choose to spend just a few moments of your day with me. I'd like to ask you all to help me out. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi, Bob. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All these things are absolutely free and help me get the word out. What the heck? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but my camera shut down on me. But all these things help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I'm 61 years old, and I'm doing things I couldn't do when I was 40, like out here walking every day. I'm going up that hill that I walk fast up every day. I sprinted up it a couple of days ago, so I'm going to pick up the pace a little more here, and even a little more. I want to get a little closer to the stop sign before I start to sprint. And sprinting isn't exactly what I would call my fast waddle run, but it is what it is. Here we go. A lot of people <coughs> would cut this section of the video out because a lot of the YouTubers out there don't want to hear you, don't want you to hear them breathing hard. Me, I think it's important for you to see and hear how long it takes to recover from that. Oh, that was a good one. Give me just a second and then we'll get on into the 29 month results. That you can see is one of the results of 29 months of carnivore. I, like I said, could barely stand for a couple of minutes without severe pain. And I just did that again. Besides the walking every day, just getting a little sprint in. Not that I would call that much of a sprint, 
certainly not setting any land speed records. But for me, at 61, having had a triple bypass surgery, I think that's pretty good. As you all know, I started my carnivore journey on May the 9th, 2022, the day before my 59th birthday. At that time, I didn't realize it because of the brain fog and, you know, the, the fog of the statins I was taking and everything else. But I was basically just sitting around the house waiting to die. I was taking 13 drugs in the morning, 9 at night, plus pain pills throughout the day, just to get through each day. And I was surprised every morning when I woke up. I had fatty liver disease. I had chronic kidney disease. I had arthritis and spinal stenosis. Those two things combining are why I had such a hard time standing for more than a couple of minutes. I had type 2 diabetes. Now, I had gotten it a little bit under control following the dietitian's advice. It was, when I was diagnosed, it was 10.3, my A1C. And every time I went to the doctor, if I was a little bit under 8, he'd say, good job. And if I was a little over eight, he'd say, well, you want to maybe work on that a little bit. But of course, he never, he never gave me any advice on how to work on that a little bit. And of course, I was morbidly obese. I'm still what I would consider on the chunky side, but not anywhere close to where I was. My life had basically just fallen apart and I was sitting around the house waiting to die. Nothing good was going on. And when I started the carnivore journey, I had spent, I had sent a message to Dr. Barry about my back pain. And at that time, when I first started, I said, you know, if I could get to the point where I could stand for four or five minutes at a time without having to sit down, that would increase the amount of things I could do. Like I was thinking, you know, at two, at two and a half minutes, it's really hard to go to the zoo because they have benches there, but not nearly enough. But I thought if I could get to around five minutes without having to sit back down, I could get back out to the zoo. And that would give me enough time to get from bench to bench. So... That was my goal. And I blew past that so quickly, I didn't even realize it. And it was four full months. I started in May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, not quite four full months because it was September the 1st when I took that first walk. And if you go back and watch that, it wasn't very far. So what all has happened? In 29 months, 
well, as you can see, I'm doing more than standing for two minutes without severe pain. I, my chronic kidney disease is gone. My fatty liver disease, it's gone. My arthritis, I won't say, say it's gone because I still have some trouble with my left knee that I was supposed to have replaced 10 years ago but didn't due to the change in insurance at work. That's a story for a whole nother day. But suffice it to say, I never got that knee replaced. And it still gives me a little bit of trouble, like when I go to get up and down off the ground. And that's one of the sidebars I want to talk about real quick, because I had somebody ask if I was still planning on doing the Appalachian Trail next year. And right now I'm not. I'm getting ready to go to Texas to work on my off-grid homestead. Hopefully, another, oops, that just died. The bob cam just died there. Had to stop and restart it. But, oh, it must be overheating. Yeah, it's overheating, so we'll leave that off for a little while. But... So I'm working on my homestead project this winter, and we'll see how far I get with everything down there. I do still hope to do the Appalachian Trail at some point, but to sleep in a tent every night for several months, I really need to be able to get up and down off the ground easier than I do now. So we'll see how that goes. But, that was my little sidebar on talking about my arthritis, my spinal stenosis. Again, I won't say it's completely gone, because if I turn too fast, or do a few other different kind of movements without doing them carefully, I'll get this shooting pain in my back. But it doesn't, it's not like it was. It's not nearly like it was. My type 2 diabetes is gone. Last time I had it checked, it was, my A1C was 4.8. I see no reason to worry about that any longer. Not only am I completely off pain meds, I can't even remember the last time I took a pain med to get through the day. But I'm off all my meds. All of them. I don't take anything. Not a single one. And that's, that's quite the saving not having to take any of those prescription medications. Now I didn't get, you know, I didn't just lose them all at once. The, the blood pressure medicine, the last one of those was the hardest to get off. Because I'd, it was the last thing I was on except for my blood thinner from the heart doctor, from my cardiologist. But every time I'd think I was ready because my blood pressure was running a little on the low side, I'd stop the, the last of the blood pressure medicines and my blood pressure would slowly start to creep back up again. And finally, after talking to, it wasn't Dr. Barry himself, it was one of his moderators I think it was Kevin I was talking to, but he said that that's going to happen. Just monitor it, 
and if it gets above a certain point, maybe try taking it once and then stopping it for another couple, three days. And I did that for a while. And eventually, my blood pressure leveled back out without taking medications. I'm sure it's up a little bit now after that run I just did. And I'm out here in this, taking the long walk around the block. But so that I could clue you in, because somebody's going to ask, what was your blood pressure this morning? I did take it. It was 118 over 68, which sounds pretty good to me. So, the last medicine I got off was just, well, it's been over a year ago now, because I was down in North Carolina. I'd seen my cardiologist before I went down and asked him about getting off the blood thinner. And he said, well, Bob, you're doing real well, but let's go ahead and stay on it. And we'll revisit that when you get back from North Carolina. So I had my cardiology appointment when I got back. And he said, you're doing great. I'll see you next year. What is significant about that is that when I first got out of the hospital from my triple bypass, one of the things he said to me was, now I'm going to see you every six months till one of us dies. And I have no doubt who he thought would be dead first. But, so getting him to say, I'll see you in a year, was a huge victory. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that's gotten better. Oh yeah, well, my brain is slowly coming back. I know, don't laugh. But I used to be sort of a human calculator back before all this crap started. You know, I could do math in my head. Back when I was a kid, my dad would sit down with a calculator to do taxes, and I would do them in my head. And I was usually done quicker just doing it all in my head than he was using a calculator. So, I'm not back to that point yet, but I'm at least to the point now where I realize what I've lost from being on statins all those years. Is it all the statins' fault? I can't say that. It could, you know, between all of my other ailments and all the other drugs I was taking, it could have been the statins or any number of things. All I know is that I'm cl more clear and happier than I've been in decades. You know, I mentioned my land down in Texas for my off-grid homestead. Two and a half years ago, I wouldn't have even considered moving out in the middle of the desert. And now I can't wait. Oh, and in case you don't stick around to the end of the music section, the one other little side effect I've had from being on the carnivore diet for 29 months is I'm down 155 pounds. Oh, now there's a car coming up the street. So let's go get out of the way okay but I think I've talked enough for today I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and hopefully the Bob cam will work now too so I'm gonna say cue the music
Okay, cut the music. Thank you. Yes, I've seen a lot of changes in 29 months. The biggest change, I believe, is my outlook. I want to go do my off-grid homestead. I do still eventually want to hike the Appalachian Trail. There's a lot of things I want to do, but the main thing I feel I need to do is to keep making these videos for you guys. Because getting this word out that your doctor is not your friend, the nutritional advice you're getting is not your friend from the mainstream people. There's so much information out there saying this is the science, this is what you need to listen to. But the science isn't really there. I know it's anecdotal evidence. What I do and what thousands of others with YouTube channels that are on the carnivore diet are doing. But if you put all those people together, that's more valid, in my opinion, than any of these ridiculous studies they keep pushing at you. So that's what's happened to me in 29 months. Hopefully the next 29 months are even better. Hopefully some of what I said today made sense. And the Bob Cam died again, so the split screen probably stopped again. But hopefully some of what I said today made sense. And don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.